You may have seen people hitting crazy numbers using Darax and Leagues, combined with Knife's Edge, which deals 0.6% more damage for every hit point missing, and both effects stack. People have also been hitting over 100 with just a whip using the Fragment Bandosian Might, which adds 4 damage for every attack speed your weapon is. Once you stack this with damage boosts from things like Slayer Helmets, Knife's Edge, and Twin Strikes which has a chance to hit your opponent twice, bosses are dying in seconds to these super setups. But I wanted to get the highest hit ever in the whole of Old School RuneScape, and to do that, I somehow needed to stack both set effects at the same time. Most people are killing Bandos for the BCP, BGS, Tassies, and Bandos boots drops, and using that with the Bandosian Might Fragment, as they are the best items in the set, and some of them give strength bonuses. But three of those items use the same slots as Darek's. Darek's only has four items in the set, and for the set effect to work, you have to be wearing all of them, so changing them is non-negotiable. However, there are Bandos items you can get from Clue Scrolls. Darex uses 5 slots since the axe is two handed, which just leaves 5 slots to get those 4 Bandosian items needed for the fragment to work. But even then, if you want the max hit possible ever, I have to use an item in those remaining 5 slots that gives the most damage possible, and then fill up the other 4. Even though Barrow's Gloves is the highest strength item I can equip in those 5 slots, there is actually a better item which is in the next slot. That means the items I'm going to need is the Bandos Boots, Bandos Fan Braces, a War Symbol and a Bandos Cape. But with the exception of the boots, they are all extremely rare clue rewards. So it's time to smash out the clues. Starting with Hard, which is the only level that can reward the Van Braces and also has a chance of the Blessing. Bracers, yes, one down, only two to go. That leaves just a cloak and a war blessing, both of which you can get for medium clues, so it's time to switch it up. War blessing on clue 16, fingers crossed this may not be. As bad as I was expecting, only the cloak left to get. Ranger boots, the one time I actually don't need them. It's some free points at least, I guess. 50 clues completed now, still no luck. Thought I had it for a minute on my 50th, but it's the wrong cloak, unfortunately. Wizard boots as well, at least while I go dry, I'm getting some nice items. I say go dry, I've got no idea what the drop rate is. Normally it's a 1 in 1133 for this, but the rates are boosted in the leagues and, and the wizard boots and ranger boots have the same drop rate. Two spike monocles in one casket, okay, now you're just trolling me. This is the last step of this one, I wonder if this drunk guy in the bars had my cloak all of this time. Leprechaun hat. Of course he's got a leprechaun hat. What else was he going to have? He's drunk. I've been doing this for so long now. I've been alking as I run around. And this is 99 magic. Will this give me the look I need? Nope. A cryer coat. How ironic. I've got so many items from Clue Scrolls. I actually need to buy myself some more bank space. Because I've filled up my bank. That's my fifth pair of ranges now, and every time I get them, half my clan congratulates me. I've just seen someone else's video as well, who shall remain anonymous, who has been doing a massive clue grind, and I think he may be about to do this too, so I really need to get this soon. Finally, it's over. That is the greatest thing I have ever seen in my entire life.
my collection log and I got five rangers, four wizard boots and almost every item first. And I even ended up at rank 25. But I'm not one to complain. It's part of the game and we wouldn't change it, would we? Wonder who dropped all of these. I now just need one final item to complete the set that could potentially hold the max hit record. And for this, all we need to do is smash out the Haunted Mine quest. Might as well test out the set whilst I'm here at the boss. That was easy, not even potted or praying. And that is the Salve Amulet Unlocked, which gives a 15% boost when fighting undead creatures. Gonna finish Tarn's Lair 2 as that increases the amulet up to 20%. This is everything I need, everything I've been working for, and I look like a complete noob. Is this really the set that's gonna smash records? No Infernal Cape, Torva, Scythe, Harmonized, or Tebow? This set has all of the following effects which stack. Darek's set, which increases your max hit by 97% when your health is at 1 hit point. Knife's Edge, which increases damage by 0.6% for every hit point missing. Bondosian Might, which increases your max hit by 4 for every attack speed of your weapon, with Darex being 7, makes it 28. Piety, which increases damage by 23%. The Salve Amulet gives another 20%, and Twin Strikes means you have a 60% chance to hit twice. But before I test what the absolute max of this thing is, I didn't do all of that work, not to have a little bit of fun first. Oh my days. Jeez, this is the greatest thing I have ever seen. Damn, one hit the giant mole. They were fun, but those don't have a high enough health to hit my max on. But there is something that does, and it's also undead, so I get a 20% salve army boost. One hundred and seventy-three, hundred and seventy-three, and I'm not even one HP. I've still got thirty-five hit points left. So it's time to find out what the actual max hit of this thing is. I have done hardly any bossing so far in leagues, I've been working on those horrible grindy tasks for points, got them out the way so I can concentrate on having a load of fun later. So I'm going to have a ton of fun with this and absolutely destroy those elite times that Jagex have set in this tournament. So join me in the next one to see how I get on.